Okay, everybody, welcome back to the next part of my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection 30th Anniversary Special, in which, as you can see, we're going to play a CD-ROM game. This is actually an, an attempt at take two, because we had trouble loading the CD-ROM and uh, my laptop froze, so this is a take two. We're going to try again. Mm. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get here. We may need to install the game because I didn't find it installed on my um on this laptop here, so we may have to reinstall it. But if we do, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. Mm. Just gotta give it a bit to to load. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see if anything works here. Should be. Yeah, this is what happened last time, but nothing, we couldn't get it to load, but I'm gonna keep trying here. So this is a little behind the scenes, yeah, insert a disc. Oh, I do have a disc in there. Okay. I don't know why this portable CD-ROM drive is giving me problems. You also have to keep in mind I'm using a portable CD-ROM, so... There we go. Now we got something here. Okay, yeah, let's set it up. Okay, so we do need to install it, so let's go ahead and do it. Yes, 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 next. Okay. So you're all getting a little bit of a behind the scenes look. Oh, right. Okay, everything looks good there. Okay. Play Jeopardy? Yeah, we definitely want to play Jeopardy, for sure. Okay. There we go. I just had to make sure I click the right button. And normally, you hear the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection theme at the end of the video, but I decided not to do it for this part. So we'll just play it as is. Play it straight. Okay. Try that again. Play Jeopardy. Okay, there we go. Just had to take a second to load. I do have the Jeopardy CD-ROM drive in there. Alright. I do have the CD-ROM in there.
Okay. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the delay, everybody. But this portable CD ROM drive on this laptop, yeah. Probably isn't the best idea, but it's okay. Okay. There we go. That's what we needed. I think we'll skip playing the Masterpiece Collection game at the end of this video. But it's okay. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay, set the game up exactly the way you like. Can anybody check Alex's monitor? Have we got sound yet? Everything okay? Let's get it on. Normal game. Okay, so how many people are out there? We'll just add two computer players. Player one, what's your name? Player one has the space bar. All right, let's go. Let's go. Player three. Okay. Out of here already? I don't know what happened there, but we're going to restart the game. I don't know why it's skipping all of Alex's uh, videos and audio. It shouldn't do that. Not supposed to do that. That's thundering outside. Let's skip through all that. Okay. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay, set the game up exactly the way you like. Can anybody check Alex's monitor? Have we got sound yet? White balance on camera three, please. You all set? Let's go. Normal game. Okay, so how many people are out there? And we'll get a couple of computer contestants to play against you. Player one, what's your name? Player one has the space bar. Let's try this again. All right, let's go. From the okay. Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy. And now, here is your host for Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Welcome to Jeopardy. We've got a great game lined up for you. What with you, Alex? Let's see if you like these categories. I hope so. Television. Okay. Mountains, doohickeys, organizations, 
notable names. And to wrap things up, artists and their subjects. That's where we'll start. Artists and their subjects. Player one, you get us going. His 1891 painting of a street in Tahiti is in the Toledo Museum of Art. Player one. Um, who was Paul Gauguin? Correct. Okay, uh, let's have artists in their Player one. Thomas Sully's 1815 portrait of this orator is in the Colonial Williamsburg collection. Player two. Who is Patrick Henry? You so. are correct. Lucy Lawless played this warrior princess on a spin-off of Hercules. Player one. Who is Xena? That's correct. Television for 200, please. Kathy Baker and Ray Walston picked up Emmys in 1996 for their work on this series, canceled in 1996. Player one. What is Picket Fences? Yes, indeed. Television for 300, please. Set in Baltimore, this show is subtitled Life on the Street. Player one. What is Homicide? Correct. Television for 400. It's the name of the home improvement show featured on Home Improvement. Player one. What is Tool Time? Yes. Television okay, for five. contestant one. Answer. Daily double. Player one. Please make your wager. I'll make it a two daily double. This former TV conehead plays a human romancing an alien on Third Rock from the Sun. Who is Jane Curtin? Correct. Picasso's family of Saltenbach shows people who work for one of these spectacles. Player one. What is a circus? Correct. Uh, artist of the seventh for 400, please. In 1930, she created a series of paintings of a jack in the pulpit. Player one. Who is Georgia O'Keefe? Correct. Artist of the seventh for five. Raymond Schneider sculpted this biblical couple for a chapel in Würzburg, Germany. Player one. For Adam Correct. All right. Do you think he's 100? It's a small swiveling wheel attached to the bottom of pieces of furniture. Player one. What is a caster? That's it. Uh, Player one, it's your turn. It's the pen point you insert into the tip of a fountain pen. Player two. What is a nib? Yep. To be sure. After a dispute with his father, Ballington Booth left this organization and founded the Volunteers of America. Player two. What is the Salvation Army? Think so. Correct. In 1992, this conservation organization, founded by John Muir, celebrated its 100th anniversary. Player three. What is the Sierra Club? That's yep. correct. Colorado's Arapaho Peak is located in the front range of these mountains. Player one. What is the rock? Correct. Uh, mountains for 200, please. In 1840, great masses of this mountain, where Noah's Ark landed, were torn loose by an earthquake. Player one. What is Mount Ararat? That's correct. Awesome. Mountains for 300. Player one, what'll it be? Ten mountains in this South American chain exceed a height of 22,000 feet. Player one. What are the Andes? That's it, exactly. Okay, mountains for 400. Adams Peak, a sacred mountain in this island nation, is called Samanala in Sinhalese. Player two. What is Sri Lanka? That's Sri right. Lanka, all right. This country's King Gustav III was shot at a masked ball in 1792 and died two weeks later. Player one. Uh, what is Sweden? Yes. Okay. Noble answer 200. This Greek who supposedly sought an honest man was influenced by the less cynical Antisthenes. Player three. Who is Diogenes of Sinop? Think so. Yes. All right, player three. Maggie Kuhn, who passed away in 1995, co-founded this organization to fight age discrimination. Player two. What are the Grey Panthers? Correct. Yes. 
They're the raised bars on the neck of a guitar. Player one. What are frets? Correct. All right. Two hickeys for four hard plays? It hangs inside a bell and strikes the sides to produce ringing. Player one. What is the clapper? That's it. Not the clap on, clap off uh, gadget. Proper term for the roller on a typewriter. Player three. What is the platen? You yes. are correct. Platen. Thomas Jeffords befriended this Apache leader in the 1860s and later became the tribe's agent. Player three. Who is Cochise? Yes. Correct. What will it be, player three? In 1994, this anthropologist, son of two anthropologists, quit as director of the Kenya Wildlife Service. I think I have an idea, but I'm going to hold that. Player three. Who is Richard Leakey? I was thinking it was a Leakey. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't sure the first name. This caustic critic and expert on the American language was associated with the Baltimore Sun for 40 years. Player three. Who is Henry Louis Mencken? You are correct. Very good. Founded in 1929, the Daughters of Penelope is the leading U.S. organization for women of this ethnic background. Player three. What is Greek American? Exactly. Okay. A leukemic boy's dream of becoming a police officer inspired the formation of this foundation in 1983. I'm going to try this one. Player one. What is the Make a Wish Foundation? Correct. Dapsang and Chikori are local names for this, the world's second tallest mountain. What is Player one. K2? Correct. All right. That takes us to the end of this round. That was a good first round. Nobody got anything wrong. And I'm in the lead with $5,900. Player two, 1200 Player three. Player one. 2500 You're in first place all by yourself. As I should be. Now it's time for the double Jeopardy round. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's get to the categories for double Jeopardy. Let's see if we get some good ones. Sports women. Colorful books. Birds. Emperors and empresses. Okay. Word origins. And finally, saints. Okay. Let's play. Your choice, player two. Here we go. Carolus Magnus is the Latin name of this king of the Franks and emperor of the Romans. Player one. Uh, who is Charlemagne? That's it. Emperor's and Empress is 400. This fiery Roman emperor reportedly said, I have only to sing to have peace once more in Gaul. Player one, Nero. that's correct. Player one. Okay. Uh, Emperor's 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 he Emperor's. was a rear admiral in the Austrian Navy before he became Emperor of Mexico. Player one. Who is Maximilian? That's right. Right again. Emperor's 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 eight. This Ethiopian Emperor's wife, Wezaro Menin, was a great granddaughter of Menelik II. Ethiopian wife. Okay. Yes. Player one. Who is uh, Haile Selassie? Yes. And Empress Empress is This up. emperor, for whom a wall is named, built a spectacular villa at Tivoli near Rome. Yes. Player one. Who is Hadrian? Yes. Okay. Uh, birds for 200, please. Species of this large bird with a long neck include demoiselle, sandhill, and whooping. Yes. Player what one. are cranes? Yes. Uh, birds of 400? World Book calls it the night watchman of our gardens. Yes. What is player the one? Owl? Yes. Birds Your choice, six. player one. The answer is a oh, video boy. daily double. Player one, please make your wager. Um, let's do 2,500. This Australian kingfisher is sometimes called a laughing jackass. Here's your clue. Take a look. This Australian kingfisher is sometimes called a laughing jackass. What is a cockatoo? No. It's not a cockatoo. Kookaburra. Kookaburra. Birds right here, please. With a wingspan of up to nine and a half feet, this vulture is North America's largest flying land bird. Player three. What is the California condor? You are correct. Very good. 
In 432, he succeeded Palladius as Bishop of the Irish. Player one. Who is St. Patrick? Yes. Birds for a thousand. <laughs> the adjutant birds of Southeast Asia are members of this family known for family deliveries. Player one. What are storks? That's it. Saints for 400. Answer. Really Player good. one. Please make your wager. Um, let's go for to do the double on this one. Let's try it. In art, this husband of the Virgin Mary is often depicted as an old man. Who was Saint Joseph? That's it. All right. Okay. Just before. Saint Stanislaus, the patron saint of this country, was Bishop of Krakow. Player one. Poland. Correct. Saint three hundred. Saint Francis Borgia was the third superior general of this group, also called the Society of Jesus. Player one. Who are the Jesuits? That's it. All right. Saint Andrew, one of the twelve apostles, was the brother of this other apostle. Player two. Who is Peter? Big so. Yes. A chatty person has the gift of this, a word derived from the Middle English for to scoff. What Player is one? Gab? Why, yes. Word of just for four? The name of these noted cavalrymen of Russia comes from a Turkish word for adventurer. Player one? Uh, who are the Cossacks? That's correct. Word of just for 600, please. Okay, contestant one. The name of this room where you get sun is a Latin word for a terrace. Player three. What is a solarium? Solarium, Why, yeah. yes. It was Alice Walker's third novel. Player one. What is the color purple? Yes. Uh, colorful books for 400. In 1935, Hemingway wrote about these hills of Africa. Player two. What is the green? The green, yeah, Correct. I did that, but too late. This woman, nicknamed Babe, was an all-American high school basketball player at age 16. Player one. Was Babe Didrickson. Yes. Okay. Fourth woman for 400, please. Maria Bueno won 12 Grand Slam doubles crowns in this sport in spite of a long bout with hepatitis. What is Player this? one. That's it. Six. Player one, you choose. In September 1995, this American figure skater married her agent, Jerry Solomon. Player one. Who is Katarina Witt? Good guess, but that's wrong. Not Player three. Her. Who is Nancy Kerrigan? Oh, Nancy exactly. Kerrigan. Okay. From the Latin word for shaggy or bristly, it's a synonym for hairy. Player three. What is her suit? Oh. Why, yes. This word for cosmetic treatment of the fingernails comes in part from manus, Latin for hand. Player one. What is a manicure? Correct. Uh, colorful books for 600. In it, Billie Holiday said she didn't like singing the same song the same way two nights in a row. Player two. What is Lady Sings the Blues? Oh, yeah. Right you are. In 1941, Walter Farley created this now classic animal tale. Player two. What is the black stallion? Yep. Correct. What'll it be, player two? Chapter six of this Hawthorne classic is titled Pearl. Player one. What is the scarlet letter? That's correct. Uh, sportswoman for 800. In 1992, she became the first winner of back-to-back -back Olympic gold medals in the heptathlon. Player three. Who is Jackie Joyner Kersey? She was Correct. One of the two I was thinking of. In 1984, Joan Benoit became the first female Olympic gold medalist in this race. Player three. What is the marathon? I was thinking that. Correct. One. I don't know all right, that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Player one. This is a little anticlimactic, I know, but here goes. Take a look at the category for Final Jeopardy. Famous names.
Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck, players. Ian A from Prince Philip helped prove that Anna Anderson in Manahan was not this one as she had claimed. Player two, your question. That's right. Brand and your wager was. Now you're showing off. Oh well, I did my best. Player three, your question? Sorry, that's incorrect. Let's see how much it no. cost you. Sometimes you get a tough one. Yes, you do. Your question, player one. I got it wrong. No, I'm sorry. What's that going to cost you? But I'm still the winner. Sometimes you get a tough one. Yes, you do. That was a terrific game, players. Hope to see you again on our next game of Jeopardy. And I'll see you all for the next game right after the break. Leaving so soon? Yes.